Hey guys, welcome back to Game Peace. Dave here. Today I'm playing Shadow Era. This is a uh, web browser based free to play game. Uh, just go to shadowera.com. Uh, it's also available on the iPhone, the Android market. Uh, so it's, it's pretty awesome that you can play this game pretty much anywhere on your uh, mo mobile phone, uh, which is pretty awesome considering you can still play it even on your phone online against other real people. So that's pretty cool uh... so the first thing that the game asks you to do is pretty much pick a pick a hero and these heroes pretty much represent uh... your guy as like your main guy if, if your hero dies you lose the game and if you kill the other guy's hero you win the game so uh... the little life drop the little drop of blood down here is their life total so this guy if you pick him uh... you know you start off with thirty life but not of them all, like some start off with different amounts of twenty six life so there are uh, quite a number of heroes to choose from, and depending on what hero you pick, so they each have um, races and classes. So this guy's a human warrior, uh, and there are different ones. There's human hunters, and there's shadow hunters, um, shadow warrior, human priest. So depending on what hero you are, that will determine what type of cards you can put in your deck. Uh, I'll get o I'll go over that a little bit more in in a little bit. So basically, what they do is they'll give you a starter deck, and from there you get to play. Um, I would advise you playing in the world area, which plays against the computer AI, which are pretty easy to beat. And every time you beat them, you get gold and experience to level up. Go to your status. You can check your experience here and what level you are. Uh, it also has ratings, how much gold you have in shadow crystals. Um, the shadow crystals you get 25 every time you level up and you can use a hundred of them to buy a booster pack or a starter deck pre-con deck uh, these usually consist of common so I usually stick away from stay away from them at least the booster pack comes with at least one rare or epic card um, you can also if you want you can also buy shadow crystals considering Leveling is the only way to really obtain them. Uh, you know, it's not too bad. If you really like the game and you want to show support, uh, I'm definitely don't. I would definitely do it. Uh, Ten dollars and get you a thirteen hundred. Pretty much get you anything up here. Um, after that, these are all the cards available for you to buy. Nope, oh, nope. These are the ones available for you to buy. Uh, there's only two hundred cards right now in the game. So, it's really easy to collect pretty much every single card. You can have four of each card in the deck. Decks usually consist of somewhere around 30 cards. There are no land in this game. So, it's pretty unique to, uh, pretty unique. Which is nice because you don't have to worry about getting land flooded or land screwed. Um, purple down here represents epic cards, green represents the uncommon. White is common and blue, if I can find one, are rare cards. So this is rare. Um, so after you get your deck and you start leveling, you can pretty much customize it. And this is more. This is where I'll get into um, what type of cards are available for each hero. So this is my deck up here. As you can see, it has 33 cards you can have a bunch of saved decks so you can pull one up this is another deck that I have saved 35 cards uh, you can have as you can have a minimum of 30 cards in your deck I have yet to find a maximum I'm pretty sure I put one of them has like 130 cards just because I wanted to see how many cards I could throw in a deck and I didn't have a problem with it so I don't think there's a maximum right yet so let's just hit clear uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is choose your hero class. And, to be honest with you, I'm a big fan of the hunters, but uh, I'll pick him for right now. Uh, so I'll pick Banebow. Comes in with 28 life. He is a shadow hunter, and he has an ability um, to do two damage up to do two different targets. Now, this right here is shadow energy. Uh, you get one of these per turn. So it just 
it keeps going up and it can uh, accumulate up to 10 shadow he can keep up to 10 so that's that then you'll see over here I have some grayed out cars these cards I cannot use because this guy's a human ally and this guy is a shadow hero so he can only use shadow allies see um, also these cards are grayed out because they're warrior abilities so he's a hunter can't use the warrior stuff there's also mage abilities mage cards in here that he can't use uh, he has his own hunter cards that you can use uh, some priest abilities which are pretty nice so that kind of adds a layer of strategy when you're building a deck because you you want to use all the great cards but all the great cards can't be used I mean, for example these are some pretty awesome cards that you can't use so that is that and if you want to use those throw Boris up there for example now this guy's a human warrior and this opens up all of these cards now for me to use uh, protector is an ability that is like uh, like they have to attack him so so in this game you can have your allies attack either the opponent's ally directly or you can have the your ally attack their hero directly without them throwing their allies in front of your guy to block or something like that uh, that doesn't really happen so the protector they would have to attack him they have no other option until he dies uh, the one unique thing about this game is every ally has a first strike ability so this guy who's a 3-1 if I attack you, if I attack, if I attack and I choose to attack him with a one-one, he's dead, and my one-one's gonna live. So, it, it. I want to say I like that, but it really adds a lot to like. It matters who goes first in this game a lot, and that's a very big downfall. If the other, if the opponent goes first and throws out a one-one first turn, that's gonna stop the other player a lot. It's gonna slow down his his role and make him think about what he's going to do now. So I g it gives a lot of advantage to the player that goes first. I I think. Oh, let me load a deck up real quick. Alright. Uh, also, there there is music to this game, but uh, the music is so god-awful loud that you won't be able to hear anything except it. And there's no volume for it. Which they should fix. So, there is the status thing, which is nice. And then if you go to the challenge area, that's where you get to play players online. Each player has a rank right next to their name. The higher, the better, of course. Um, and then you just hit quick game, and you jump right in. There is one thing I don't like about this, is you can't really set up to play your friend. Like, I wanted to play Bob, and he was on, we're both on, we're both talking, and we couldn't find a way to actually play each other. So, I don't really like that, but... I guess they can only do what they can do. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, the world area is, like I said, where you would play computer AI guys if you want to just safely build up experience in gold. Uh, pretty, pretty easy stuff. Also, if you win against a player online, you also win uh, gold and experience. If they're over, I believe, a rating of 200, you gain double. You gain 40. Get, you'll get like 40 or ish experience and like 200 gold. Uh, the deck area, I saw you can completely customize your deck just by um, throwing the hero up there and then throwing some cards up there and saving it and you're done. Uh, so that's really nice that they give you 100% complete customization over this game is awesome. Uh, if you go to the merchant, you can also sell cards. So here, here's my collection. Uh, I keep four of everything just because I want to be able to sure know that I can actually use it. So, but if you don't want it, you can just click it and sell it. So it's nice if you get booster packs, you can still sell them for gold. Uh, go to the buy area. This is their little buying area. Now, sometimes you will see cards like this. I notice a lot. This is a pretty uh, rare card. So sometimes when you go to the buy to merchant, you won't find this card, or you won't find other cards in here, um, and that's because the merchant 
will run out of cards. And then you should check back later to uh, see if it's back in stock, I guess you can call it. So it's kind of weird, but it took me a little bit to realize that. Um, that's about it, guys. The one thing I do say why I use the, the term free so loosely uh, is because it's you have to be level 5 first. And the levels don't come easy. So you have to be level 5 first before you can buy either another pre-constructed deck or one pack of cards. Um, y yeah, I guess it's kind of free, but if you really wanted to play and get and stand a chance in uh, online playing, then you'd probably have to at least spend a couple dollars, you know, five, ten dollars to really help yourself out and get um, a deck in here. Uh, th that that's my opinion on it. You could use some pre-constructed decks to to actually win. I know the elemental deck is actually pretty good. I guess it's the best pre-con I would say. Uh, but you know, overall the game is good. I do like it. There are some things I'd like to fix on it, such as the sound, uh, for one. The fact that every character has, every ally has the ability to first strike another guy is kind of, kind of weak because it really does. Whoever goes first and whoever gets out there first and rolls goes first is really gonna put a hurting on the other player. Gives you know it's not like they're gonna win entirely, but it does give them a small advantage, and I don't really like that. So um, I'm not gonna go over too much gameplay right now. I'll make I'll make a separate video for that. Uh, basically, I'll show you how it works without land, and I'll show you how the shadow energy works and stuff like that. So th I'll save that for another video. Uh, check back if you want to check that out. So I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, you know, it's definitely a game worth checking out. It is free to play, so uh, I advise you if you like Magic the Gathering or any other uh, CCG, uh, uh, you know, it's w definitely worth to check out.